working for someone else was never my plan. It was never something I wanted to do. It was never something I thought I would do. And once I was in school and realized I didn't want to pursue the major that I was going to school for, it was kind of right then and there that I was like, you know what? I'm not doing it this way. I don't want to work for someone else. I don't want to be tied down to one area or one place. And I don't want to go through the motions. I want to have an exciting life. I want to do what I want to do. I want to explore. I want to travel. I want to make a lot of money. And I just want to be free. If you're new here, I'm Sarah and I help teach people how to find inner happiness through fitness and spirituality. And today, we're gonna talk about why I quit my six-figure job with no plan. <laughs> yes, I have a mortgage, I have rent, I have bills to pay, I have car payments, I have student loans. I have all these things that I have to pay for, but I quit my job anyway. So here's the thing. When I came out of school, was that almost seven years ago, I went into the acting and film and modeling world full time. Now, if any of you watching are in that industry, you know how volatile it is, how unpredictable it is, how very, very difficult it is to make money when you're trying to find your way in the industry. So I did that for a few years and then I started dating someone who was in car sales which led me to finally get frustrated by the fact that I wasn't having a consistent income. I was still living at home and I just really had all the freedoms that I was looking for and not working for someone else, I didn't have being on my own. So I thought, hey, why not, that, why not give this a try? So I went and I sold cars for a few years and I was pretty damn good at it. I made a good amount of money. I made a good living. I was able to buy my first car. I was able to actually start spending money on things I wanted to do and start putting money into savings. And then I got into real estate and that was about almost three years ago. And this just took off. I loved the job I was working. I was making a crap ton of money. I was putting away money investments. I bought my first rental property. I flipped that rental property. I was just killing it. And then it started really eating away at me over a long period of time. And while a lot of it had to do with the company I was working for. I think that this would have happened regardless. I think it would have happened no matter what company I was working for because I knew in my heart, I did not want to work for someone else. I did not want to be under someone's payroll. I wanted to do my own thing. I wanted to be free. I wanted to travel where I wanted. I wanted to make money the way I wanted. I didn't want to be told where to be and how to dress and what to say. And God, if I had to wear another polo for one more minute, I think I would lose my freaking mind. And over time, even though at the beginning, I really loved this job. I actually have a video I, I linked of how to, how I manifested my dream job and I will uh, put that up, up above here. And <laughs> over time, I just, I became very, very resentful because I was doing the same thing every day. I was stuck in the same location. I was saying the same things, even though it was to different people every day. And I felt like the longer and longer I was working for someone else, whether it was the job I had before car sales or car sales or real estate, I wasn't being true to me. I wasn't being true to my soul. I wasn't happy. I really, really wasn't happy. And the thing is, is we all want money. We all want to do whatever we want, buy whatever we want, not have to worry about paying the bills. And I think that's a huge reason why people get stuck 
why they get so stuck or trapped. I feel like trapped is a better word. Trapped in this rat race of life of that society tells us that we have to do and that it's so difficult to be on your own and it's so difficult to do this. Well, isn't it difficult working for someone or working for a company that prohibits you from, from, from following and pursuing your dream and doing whatever it is we want to do? Because <laughs> In all honesty, especially because my channel is so much about aligning yourself with your, your heart's desire and, and doing what's true for you, the longer and longer I was working for someone else, the further and further I was getting from who I am and what I wanted in my true self. And I could really see how people get trapped in this because yeah, it was great making money and having this money rolling in and being able to buy what I want However, I barely had any vacation time. I barely was able to do things I wanted to do. I worked six days a week. So it was like, okay, great, yeah, I'm making all this money, but I'm not living the life that I wanna live. And finally, I had enough. I had enough. And you know, it's funny because today I was gonna sit down and film a completely different video, but, um, I was just feeling so energized after turning in my, my work phone, my, my office keys, all that kind of stuff that I, I just, I just need to talk to you guys about this because I was so scared. I was so scared to leave such a comfortable income. You know, I had the work phone, I had the work car, I had the gas card, I had the good income, like all of the financial things were there, but I still was so unhappy. I was still dreading waking up every single day. I was so sick of everything I was doing, even though I loved it so much in the beginning. And that's another part that I really want to bring up to you guys today is that things can change and desires and wants can change. And like, that's okay. You know, there was a long time where I loved selling cars. And then I started getting this feeling where I, this resentment was just building in me and I, I, I didn't want to do it anymore. And there was a time where the job that I just recently quit was amazing. I loved it. I got up every day excited. I loved going to the office. I loved going on my appointments. I loved everything about it, but that changed and that's okay. And so I want to encourage you that if you're in this spot and, and, and this doesn't necessarily have to do with the job, it could be, you know, where you're living. It could be a relationship you feel stuck in. It could be anything. If you're feeling resentful and anxious or like myself, I was getting migraines all the time. If you're feeling that way, it's okay. Give yourself permission to change, to leave that job, to leave that house or leave that relationship. Here's my rule of thumb for life. <laughs> here, here it is. If something makes you feel good and makes you happy and just makes you feel, <sighs> do it. Do that. Be with that person. Do that job. Okay? If something is feeling like you are dragging yourself to do it, you are, you are dragging yourself home to your husband or a wife and you, you, just, like, you just like can't do it and you don't wanna do it or you, you just are in the car driving to work and you're just like, uh, or whatever it is, don't do it, stop. Because here's the thing, when you are doing things that you don't want to do, when you are doing things that are draining your energy and they're taking away from your life, you are literally blocking yourself and blocking God in the universe to throwing you what will make you happy. For example, if you're in a relationship and you're unhappy with your current girlfriend, right? Like you guys fight all the time. You know, you're just, you're just not in a good place. And it's been like this for a long time. And in your gut, you know that, you know, it's, it's not going to work out for the long run, but you stay in the relationship anyway, because it's comfortable, because it's something that you're used to, because it's a habit. Well, you're blocking your true love from coming in because you're staying with something that's comfortable. You're staying with something that's familiar. 
and that goes for anything. So I realized that I don't know what I want to do. I, have, I don't have any plan at all. I have no idea what I'm going to do moving forward. However, I realized that the job I was holding was blocking me from being able to find whatever that is that is going to set my soul on fire, that's going to bring me fulfillment and happiness. And you deserve that. We all deserve that. We were not put on this planet to live a mundane and resentful and, and miserable life. We should be happy in all aspects of our lives. And if we're not, change it. Even if it's scary, even if you're fearful, even if you don't know what to do next, give yourself permission that it's okay. You can change. I don't care how old you are. I don't care if you're 60 years old and you're unhappy and you, and there's something that you're so passionate about. Maybe it's photography or pottery or music or whatever it is. Give yourself permission to do it. We have one life. We have one life to do whatever it is that makes us happy. And the thing is, is we can make the other people around us happier if we're happier. So not only are you doing this for yourself, but it, it, it has this domino effect. It has this domino effect on everyone else around you because it's inspiring to follow your passions and follow your dreams. And that could be even if you don't know what they are. Like I said, I, I, <laughs> I have no clue. I have no idea what I'm gonna do next. And I'm not gonna lie, like, it's freaking scary. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a scary place to be in, but it's also so rejuvenating. Like it's so exciting. Like the last few days I have been mopey and down and sad and angry and all these things. And just turning in the last pieces of my job today, I left that, <laughs> <laughs> that meeting and I felt like this freaking switch went off in me and I was just like damn I feel free I'm scared I'm a little scared but I feel free and I have the trust in myself I have the trust in God that I'm on the right path and at the end of the day you have options if I needed to, you know, a few months from now, I still didn't figure it out and I'm running out of money and I needed to go get a job doing something I didn't want to do, like those options are always there. You always have other options, but you need to just follow your heart, listen to your soul, do things that make you happy, be around people that make you happy. And if things are draining you and people are draining you and making you feel down or a loss of energy, get the hell out. Get rid of that. Follow your happiness, whatever that may be. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had no plan to make this today, but I just felt inspired and I hope that if you're stuck in one of these positions and you're not sure what to do, just listen. Listen to your heart. Listen to your soul. Nothing, nothing matters. Nothing matters in this life except your happiness. I love you so, so much. All I want for you guys, as well as for myself, is just be happy, be fulfilled, set your soul on fire. And don't be scared. You can be a little scared, you can be a little scared. But don't be too scared that you don't make the jump. Don't be too scared to tell that girl you love her. Don't be too scared to, to quit your job with no plan. Don't be too scared to, to leave the relationship that's toxic. Do the things that you need to do for you and I promise it will work out for you. I love you so much. If this video helped you, please shoot me a like and maybe a subscribe if you haven't yet. And if this video helped you and you know someone that's going through something like this, share it with them. I wanna help as many people as I possibly can. I love you guys so much and don't forget, be limitlessly yourself.